Jeremiah 31, 33 says, But this is the covenant which I will make with the house of Israel after those days, declares the Lord. I will put my law within them, and on their heart I will write it, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Well, if you're joining us in reading through this 90-day reading plan, Today's reading is Jeremiah 31, verse 37 through 32, 15, and I encourage you to read that passage. Well, if you trusted in Christ's savings work, then God has promised you two distinct things which will enable you to become more like Him. In Ephesians 1, 13 and 14, and in 2 Peter 1, 3 and 4, we're promised that we will be able to have the ability to communicate directly with God through the Holy Spirit, and that by using the Holy Spirit, we'll be able to grow in Christ. Well, God has given us the Holy Spirit as a promise of our future redemption. In this sense, we are now redeemed, but we still have our lives on earth, and until our bodies stop functioning and God takes us home, we will have to live here. So, in another sense, there are really three distinct aspects to our salvation. The first aspect is our coming into the body of Christ. It is this act that makes us part of our life to come. The second aspect of our, is our daily walk through him, and in 2 Peter 1 through 4, we're told that God has given us everything that we need for our salvation and our participation with him in his nature. This does not come to mean that we become God, but it does allow us to participate with, within him, and the Eastern Orthodox Church calls that working with the energies of God. The word partakers or participants literally means that we are in common with his nature. We're part of it. And because we're part of it, we begin to be conformed to that nature. This means that as we live our life in Christ, we should begin to look more and more like Christ. We should be thinking the thoughts that Christ would have thought, and our actions and those with those actions around us will be more conformed to that Christ-likeness. Of course, we will never become God, but we can look like Him through Christ, and we can bring others to look like Him because of our actions. Finally, when our bodies stop functioning or our salvation becomes complete, 